happy Wednesday, Congregation 5. This video is coming to you live from our treehouse. Forgive the slight mustache that I have on my face. Um, we're still doing well. Uh, God's, God's been good in this time, and I uh, hope, hope you all are well. I've enjoyed uh, getting to touch base with, with you and uh, pray with you and hear stories about how God is working in this time, because uh, he certainly is. And so uh, be encouraged. Um, a thought for us this week, this uh, Easter week, is um, I believe as I continue to pray and, and seek the Lord in this time, um, He is continuing to put on my heart this thought that He is using this time to strengthen us. Um, he's, he's speaking to me about how when I put my hope and my faith and my trust in things other than Him to be okay for life, that it actually makes me very weak because those things that I think I need to be okay are very, uh, very susceptible to being taken away from me or being upset, uh, and they are totally out of my control. And so, what the Lord is doing with us in this season is He is preparing to plant this church with us. And remember that the church is us; it's not a building; it's not somebody else; it's you and me. And um, it's all of us as a community. And so as he's preparing to plant this church, he's preparing us. He's maturing us and growing us because he wants to use us to bear fruit. And so he is strengthening us because when, when our foundation is in anything other than him, it makes us weak people. And uh, Jesus did not die and, and ra be raised again uh, for us to be weak. He, he has given us the gift of being sons and daughters of the living God. Uh, that living God dwells in us. He's given us freedom and joy and love and everything we need. And, and he has given us his strength. And so he's making us strong by taking away those things that we go to uh, for life other than him. And so a few verses for us to, uh, to meditate on this week. One is uh, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Um, God's power is made perfect in our weakness because it's us coming to the end of all these other things that we're depending on. And so when we are finally stripped bare and we are only able to depend on him, uh, that's how his power is made perfect. Uh, the second verse uh, in seeking his strength like this uh, in our weakness is this um, from 1 Chronicles 16, 11. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. And that, again, that's the Lord's call on our life in this season is to seek him continuously. Seek his strength. Seek his presence. Continue to come to him and say, here I am, Lord. Uh, what do you want to do? Give me a hunger for you, a hunger for what you are doing. Um, and then finally, this third verse, uh, what we do with this strength. 1 Corinthians 19, 13. Be strong. And let us use our strength for our people and for the cities of our God. And may the Lord do what seems good to him. Be strong in the Lord and in his strength and use that strength. Be strong for your spouse. Be strong for your friends. Be strong for your kids. Um, be the Lord's strength, um, even in your weakness, for the people that God has put in your life. Um, and it's, it's not just for your people. It's everywhere you go. It's for our city. And, uh, and may the Lord continue to do whatever seems right to him, whatever seems good to him to do, because he is the one who knows we don't. Um, so be encouraged, continue to seek the Lord in that this week as he is making us strong. Um, and, uh, a couple songs to get us through this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed last week's. Uh, one is uh, Every Breaking Wave by U2. I think this song just speaks beautifully to how we continue to seek uh, strength in everywhere other than God and, uh, and where that leads us. And uh, two, little Kanye West, uh, Everything We Need, just a, a fun reminder uh, with a beat that, uh, that God loves us and we have everything we need including mustaches. So, um, hey, continue to, to be the church uh, this week. It's, it's hard for me to focus on what I'm going to say next because I just talked about mustaches. But um, remember the podcast. Uh, I really need you all to engage in that podcast. Uh, give me feedback on it. But that's where we're trying to build this culture of, of what are we trying to do in this church and uh, what do I need from y'all? What, what is the Lord calling us to together? And so that's where we're 
We're laying that foundation in the podcast each week. Um, join us for prayer tomorrow morning, Thursday mornings, eight o'clock. Um, there's a there's a link in the email that went out on Monday. Um, that is where we draw strength is as, uh, as we collectively seek the Lord in prayer um, and fasting and and watch what He does and watch how He reveals Himself to us and uh, and just continue to love people, continue to, to be in each other's lives, continue to to um, if you're not in a Zoom small group, join a Zoom small group. If you are, continue to press into what the Lord's doing there and those communities. And um, may he bless you this week and give you peace and joy and continue to write beautiful stories uh, of his redemption in this season. Uh, love you all. Look forward to being with you soon. He is risen.